All right, here we are in uh, Matrix Gold. Uh, I throw a couple curves out there, a little uh, polygon curve or freeform curve type thing, a little circle, oval, and I have a, a, a ring, just a simple band out there. Um, there's a couple tricks I uh, want to kind of showcase, and uh, maybe you already know them, maybe you don't. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you don't, this will kind of give you a little insight and a, a few ideas. Uh, but let's uh, let's look at this uh, just this simple uh, band here real quick, uh, and we'll forget the the curves for right now. So I'll just turn the curves. Off. Well, no, I won't. Uh, I'll leave them on. There's, it's not going to get in the way. Um, so the line curve right uh, the line is uh, well very important tool of course it's one that we use a lot so uh, let's just click on that and uh, of course you can just draw a line you can dr angle it uh, you know four points bisect particular there's a lot down here you can do and you really need to kind of uh, look at all these uh, commands not just the both sides uh, there's a lot these are all very powerful tools that are, will help you in designing um, especially with the line curve but the, the one that I want to showcase today is normal so if I click on normal right now if, if I click I can I can make a line whoopee yeah, I mean <laughs> very important I guess that's under uh, stating it so uh, let's get the line and if I click on normal uh, now it tells me to select a uh, curve surface poly surface or sub D for a, a normal uh, line right uh, so what you can do with this normal with normal selected it in the sub command line is you can select a, a surface and now when you click on that surface it uh, you have to be careful where you click uh, you can turn off grid snaps uh, or O snaps uh, if you click on it anywhere you want it doesn't matter uh, let's just take uh, maybe this little well let's go for something different uh, right about here or right, if I click on that uh, and then I draw a line it'll draw it perpendicular at that angle of the uh, surface so at that surface right there that it's going up so you, you can draw uh, lines on your surfaces perpendicular if you click normal uh, anywhere you click let's just uh, all right so, uh, here and then the next one I click it, it'll just draw it straight out from that point from that angle yeah so uh, it's it's a very let's do it one more time uh, click normal and then click our surface it doesn't matter where you click but it will draw it perpendicular from that point I guess so there you go uh, so when designing sometimes you might want to put uh, these on there because you're going to attach something build it up or whatever uh, I believe you can also do it to a line but this case uh, it's not really going to showcase because we don't have anything with a lot of uh, let's draw another uh, curve out there except let's make it uh, from the side uh, let's go to our right view and we'll just draw a line uh, kind of going up, down, up, down, up, and click uh, this line here and uh, start of line. It'll draw it up perpendicular from that spot too. So doesn't matter. Let's click on normal. Normal. This one here. Start of line. Let's let's drop it down into this. You, it'll draw it perpendicular to that line. So it's a it's kind of, kind of a, a useful tool to have in your arsenal. So let's take those and delete that. So that's uh, the curve line. So th uh, that was the line. There, but there's a lot of tools in the in the line uh, command, the subline uh, that you you probably should take a look at if you have it. And I'll probably explore those a little bit more at a later date. But I just wanted to show you this easy one here uh, real quick in this. Really, the one is uh, the gems uh, I'm going to be showing next. It's kind of interesting. It has nothing to do with the line curve, but uh, it's really cool. Uh, okay, so we'll just hide that for right now. All right, so we have our uh, curves out there. We have an oval, a circle, and a polygon. Let's let's uh, do the polygon real quick first. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate that. So uh, I'm going to go to duplicate. 
I'm going to with my grid snap or O snaps on. Uh, I'm going to select this end here and go to the front view and just drag it down, holding down Shift. Okay, so about there is fine. Uh, and then I'll click off that, and now we have two curves exactly the same, right? Okay, so gems on curve. Let's go to gems on curve, and we'll go to the gem on curve and select our curve. We're going to select our top curve. We're going to hit enter, and we're just going to flow those stones along that curve, and we'll make them a little bigger so it's easier to see. Gem size, okay. And now what we want to do, normally you come over here and you click placement, uh, you know, or placement culet or whatever, or or you can come up here and usually you click target object surface, right? We're going to go down here our option line. You can probably do it here too. Uh, target object and we're going to click that line. And now you can see everything lined up to that line, right? Which is cool. But uh, you can hit enter. Everything's locked in. It's all pointing straight down to that line because it's right below it. But if you take that curve and you move it now the gym, do you see the gems all update? They'll, they'll follow that curve. So you can get really cool uh, shapes uh, from this. Uh, you could even take a point uh, and uh, drag it a different way. Oh, they didn't update, did they? So wait a minute. Okay, let's, let's take this point here. And I'll drag it out. Let's drag it over this way so maybe it'll show better. There, they're updating. So it, it'll though the gems culet will will follow that curve any direction you you want it to go, uh, which is you can make all kind of really uh, nice flowing where the diamonds are flowing back and forth, uh, really cool surfaces uh, off this, and okay so I got them a little bit uh, lined up. Let's take this one and we'll I want. Be careful because I want to grab the right one, and we'll drag it over this way, though, so it's shifted those diamonds there, or those gemstones. Okay, so I have a really bizarre shape. Okay, well, well, what am I going to do with this, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, click off that. Now, what you can do is you can go to uh, your your gem offset curve and select your gems, right, and then hit uh, enter, and then just hit enter again and we'll turn off our gems. Okay, so now we have all those uh, uh, circles out there where the girdle of the stone is, right? So at this point, really, all you have to do is, uh, well, there's two things you could do. One, you could go to your uh, interp curve. Uh, where is it at there? Freeform curve, I think they call it now. With your uh, quads and mids and ends on. And you could just sit there and connect all those uh, circles up with the line, right? Let's go to the end. end, okay, and then click off. Go to the other side, do the same thing. All right, quad. Oh, we'll go mid. Okay, so now you have that shape that goes with your stones, right? Uh, at this point, what you you know it goes around and everything, so it's really good. Uh, you can go to your extend curve uh, option and just click on that curve, hit enter, click again, and then well, go to the top menu, sorry, and just drag it out and go to the re-click it, activate, hit enter, click that curve select curve to enter and then drag it out okay and then go to this side do it again enter drag it out go to this side do it again enter drag it out okay now you can go just go to your line curve again and oh yes yeah, so I want to complete that and you can go kind of get in there and guess where you want it with snaps on of course and you can come down here to this one, uh, hit enter on that, uh, oh, I don't want to extend anything, okay good, alright, 
I want my line curve there okay and then go to here click there there and now you can just uh, take all that do a little trimming here 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 and here and hit enter and you can go to your uh, surface and do a sweep too so you go click that curve this curve that one that one and there's your surface and of course you don't need any of that junk over here so just turn it all off and turn our stones back on and there the the curve follows that surface and then if you want to it's real easy from here all you have to do is go to offset uh, select your surface uh, hit enter it's pointing the right direction uh, we'll take it down three millimeters hit enter and there you go you got a solid surface following that curve uh, but of course it's right on the gems right so let's back out of that uh, real quick and I'll show you something else okay so we have those curves out there you can go to here and you can go to your offset curve right just offset it and I have it at a point four so I'll just keep it at that and hit enter well we'll do that again click here offset it hit click and then it takes it and then one more time on the other side alright and now extend those curves sorry one more time enter extend it out enter click it again extend it out enter click it again extend it out enter there okay and then go to your uh, line curve and go to the top menu because it's easier and then take your curve just make your uh, s uh, cross section wherever you want do your trimming one two three four enter and then go to your uh, surface menu surface to sweep one two three four enter there's your surface turn off all the junk don't need it and hit enter again and there's your surface for your curve and it, it can make a really cool all different kinds of uh, curves you can make really cool designs just using the these two and then creating everything around it uh, there is and then you could of course do the offset uh, do the offset curve or surface here enter okay this time it's pointing the wrong direction so we'll need to flip all and I got it set at three millimeters and hit enter and there you go there's the surface well it okay that surface kind of got jacked up uh, doing the uh, surface uh, uh, offset so we're going to get rid of that the, the other thing you can do is just basically grab all those curves which I'm sure you probably already know and then uh, again you can duplicate them uh, from a point and I'll go to my front and just drag them straight down however far you want uh, and then click and then you have those curves I'm going to go ahead and delete this or so I'll hide it uh, and then you can they're all still separate since we chose them separate so that your curves are all still out there uh, and then you can go to your uh, get your grab your line curve again and you can just go from those points there and now you could do a, a surface too or you could try the loft see if the loft is, they're all open curves so loft should work with this and just loft from here to here uh, hit enter and there you go it just deletes that surface for you uh, makes a much smoother surface and enter there you go and just loft them all probably, probably uh, on, on real sharp curves that might be the way to go enter loft the bottom enter yeah there you go 
and uh, everything's lofted only thing you have to do do now is uh, take your yellow uh, join it together uh, and you should be able to do a cap here and there you go cap surface go over here close surface ready to do bullion do some designs on the side put beadwork up there whatever you want and it's got that uh, curve uh, all right let's move on okay and now let's do this kind of the same thing for this because this one's really cool for angles uh, so first thing we're going to do is duplicate it and we'll go to our quad and we'll go to our front menu and we'll just uh, drop it down so it doesn't matter the closer it is I guess the the more control you'll have on it uh, and then we'll go to our perspective and then we'll just flow some gems around there go to gems gems on curve and we'll flow those uh, all the way ooh not size we'll flow them all the way around well trying to hurry sorry back that out okay and then we'll go to our target curve in our command line and we'll select the curve there and we'll just go ahead and hit enter now they're all just pointing straight down right but here you can take this curve and this is what's really cool if you go to your like uh, well we want to see everything so I'll try to do it from here they're kind of lined up so yeah see it popping up I need to grab the right one. If you hold down shift and click on your little checker box there, you can uh, move it in uh, 3D or 2D and then all the gemstones. So now you got a nice little angle there for all the gemstones to go around. Uh, so you can keep manipulating s s something like this. Uh, just keep manipulating. You can even uh, uh, drag, well, you can even uh, drag a point out and those stones will follow that so there's a lot of manipulation you can do uh, on this to get different kinds of wavy surfaces for uh, whatever pattern you're looking for and then again you can do it to the same we'll just go ahead and do it real quick uh, first thing you do again is duplicate go to the quad midpoint whatever go to the front view take it down we'll take this one not so far down uh, and click there hit I don't want that one exit alright well now we'll go to our perspective we'll go to our gems and we'll take those and I'll just take the and and go around go to our target go here and now they're all pointing down and again you can uh, hit enter take that curve and be careful which one you pick and hold hold down shift first and then click on it and drag it in and they all update accordingly uh, that's the wrong one so there you go there's uh, just two little hints real quick that I just wanted to throw up and uh, give you some FYI on, eye on uh, hope you like it. Uh, hope it helps you in your designing process. Uh, if it did, please leave me a like, a subscribe, and uh, a comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Good designing.